always like trying to ask something that's not to do with the movie at the beginning. When did you both feel like you made it as actors where you could like do this for a living and not pay and be able to pay rent? <laughs> oh, gosh. Recently. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, Very recently. <laughs> that's, just, that's such a great question. Um, gosh, I think for me, it was, it was sort of hitting around about the 10 year mark when I realized I'd gone that long without having to do another job in order to make a living. I thought maybe this is actually possible because, you know, Elizabeth is joking, but you never really lose that. It could all be over tomorrow. Maybe you're not joking, Elizabeth, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, yeah. About 10 years in. Elizabeth. Uh, well, I guess I'm about 10 years in, so maybe I'm I, literally, we've hit the marker, but I, all I, I can remember very clearly the first time I, you know, someone gave me money to do acting and I just thought it was so, so strange. And, you know, like you get the paycheck and you go, oh yeah, this is, someone's going to pay me for this. Like it's utterly bizarre. But I do remember what I did with it, which was that I did pay my rent and I bought a computer, which was like such a big deal because I didn't have any tech. I was like, I was like running to meetings in New York with like post-it note, like directions and, you know, so. That's amazing. Um, what do you think might surprise people to learn about the making of an animated movie or being part of Peter Rabbit? Well, for me, the, 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 the surprising thing was just how silly you feel playing with these maquettes that eventually are going to become uh, rabbits, the like of which Elizabeth voices in the film. Uh, Donal and Rose had obviously done the first film and they had got past all of the feelings of silliness. This is my first Peter Rabbit film. And oh my goodness, doing that with an inanimate object thinking your career is going to end after people see this was very much my friend during the making of this film. But it was the fact that both Donald Rose and Will Gluck, our wonderful director, was so confident about it. That's the only thing that kept me able to not, uh, you know, get lost in a feeling of self-loathing. Is that your character's intention through most of the scenes, just thinking about <laughs> your oh, career? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Please don't let this be the end. Is <laughs> uh, Elizabeth? I think for me, little fun, little fun side fact would be that, you know, rabbits eat a lot. It took us a long time to figure out what food m sounds most like rabbit eating food while you're speaking lines over it. I think in the end we settled. We did actually settle for carrots, uh, ironically. Um, and I remember, because, you know, we tried everything, like crisps and, like, you know, we went, like, high crunch, low crunch, like, <laughs> high density, low depth. You know, we were trying to figure. It's a science. And and then um, and then one day I remember being in the studio and, and Will was like, it's, it's not working. We You know, we have to. And someone goes, wait, I, there, there are vegetables around here. And someone brought this, like, perfectly like vacuum sealed pack of tiny baby carrots not as a joke though they were just <laughs> i'll never forget that so that is definitely in the film i have an individual question for each of you guys um elizabeth are you aware there is a meme that's around of nolan holding you with a gun are you aware of this meme <laughs> oh my god you need to find this in what context are they using it for all things it's just a very funny image i'll just say it like that so you should look for it. Uh, and David, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it was your your children that basically got you to do this movie. Um, what what was it like? Literally, they're like, we're done with you if you don't do this. Well, it was specifically my daughter, my nine year old daughter, Zoe, who had been completely besotted with the first film. And um, I had been approached about it, but I was about to go and direct my first film, this film, The Waterman. And, you know, that's no small feat, your directorial debut. And, and I just felt like I couldn't squeeze in Peter Rabbit 2 and be prepared enough for that. So I, I turned it down a couple of times, but the third time I was at home, Will Gluck is a very persuasive man. Um, 
and I was at home talking to my agent and saying, guys, I just, I just cannot do this. I don't want to mess up my directorial debut. And my daughter was in the background and she heard the words, I cannot do this and Peter Rabbit together. And she went, dad, are you saying no to Peter Rabbit? <laughs> I said, I said, Zoe, I, I'm, I'm directing it. You cannot, you cannot say no to Peter Rabbit. Dad, you have got to do it. Dad, please do Peter Rabbit. And so I, I, I literally had to call my agents back and say, I, I don't know. I think I'll lose my daughter if I don't do this. So um, she is largely to blame for me doing Peter Rabbit. On that note, I got to go. Uh, congrats. I hope it's a huge hit for you guys. Look up that meme for sure. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to look up that meme. Yep, now. <laughs> right now.